स्मार्ट हो रहा है इंडिया जैसे इंडिया में बना एल स्मार्ट एलईडी टीवी विद वर्ल्ड क्लास क्लैरिटी एंड अमेजिंग फीचर्स coming back to cricket uh, how did you start playing cricket well my dad played um domestic cricket um and my brother played cricket so i have an older brother and obviously a dad that played so that's how i started backyard cricket um the old story of, of how both schools have started you either have a, a brother or a dad or someone who's played so that's how it started for me so you were born in south africa then you played for south africa then you moved to new zealand then you played for north district then off to whitburn so how do you look back at that yeah. um leaving south africa was a was a difficult decision but one i made for my own um for my own future for my safety um i had was in an attempt at hijacking twice within two weeks and i knew that as a as a female athlete or as just a female um it was the best thing for me and my future you know i'm an outdoors person i love running and unfortunately um unfortunately the way things are here it's just not safe for for people in general to do to live a lifestyle like that so how do you look back now that you are back in south africa oh my family still here a lot of my family is here um most of them stay in the garden route in the western cape so when we head off to cape town i think on friday morning it's going to be very cool to see them again um and again uh, new zealand's my home but obviously um my family still here so i hold this place very close to my heart oh, it's always great to be made family has there been something you worked on has something specifically on your wicket wicket keeping skills or batting you have worked on during this break Yeah so um for me obviously um I'm a 360 player but I've worked a lot of my power game um I'm clearing the ropes lately which is quite nice hitting a lot more boundaries um so that's that's something I've worked really hard on but again that that's coming back from reds I've gained a lot of muscle mass I've gotten a lot stronger so that's made life a lot easier and with my wicket keeping it's just volume for me I've just caught thousands and thousands of balls um So yeah I've got a great uh, coach Matthew Bell former black cap um who's my batting coach and then my keeping coach which is Fred um he lives in Christchurch he's my my keeping coach so we've done hours and hours together the last few months so a big shout out to those two men they're amazing. yeah so Matthew Bell's my batting coach um we've we started working together in the beginning of last year actually well towards winter so about April and we haven't stopped working together he's an amazing amazing man um really really cool guy and also an amazing coach so he's taken my batting to where it is today um we've worked a lot on power um but also subtlety you know and i think that's what i've brought into my game um a new dimension so to say um and also then um uh, my keeping coach freddy anderson who's an amazing keeper in staff who's been working with me also for a few months now so a lot of val- volume so i'm feeling very positive going forward Yeah. talking of keeping do you take any notes from KT Martin of you know motto big shoes to fill KT Martin I'll never be KT Martin um I don't think she wants me to be KT Martin um I'm just uh, we our styles are very different um so I'm just here of course taking tips when I when I can get them she's a legend of the game um I was fortunate enough to play a lot alongside her as a backup keeper for the White Ferns so over the years she's really taught me a lot and she surely is missed in this group but definitely always stay keen to take um tips from Mato <laughs> in your last Instagram post you talked about balance do you feel you have that balance now That's such a good question I'm so bored you I'm glad you brought it up yes I'm busy working while I'm on this tour. I run two organizations, one in New Zealand, which is called the Epic Sports Project. Um we work with uh, low socioeconomic kids in the community and within schools and we just we use sport as a vehicle and dance as a vehicle to inspire hope to the next generation. And then I also have an organization here in South Africa doing the same thing with youth in the Dark Garden Route area called the Epic Foundation. So work um work life balance is so much better now i'm not just an athlete there's so much more to me now um giving back to our youth giving back to kids in our communities that can't afford to play sport you know that's given my life a new perspective so i'm on i'm at the world cup right now but i'm working i'm working as well 
which is quite cool because it just it, it gives me time to um, reflect on bigger things in life. You know, people have have struggles, people have issues, and um, at the end of the day, cricket is a is a bloody great sport, but it is just a sport, and yeah, it gives me a good perspective. Just great talking to you, Bernadine.